In this video, I'll identify and define the various Qualys user roles and discuss the topic of user management, including creating and editing user accounts, configuring your Qualys account security preferences, and working with business units. When you create a user account, the user role you assign to the account will determine the user's default access privileges. This diagram illustrates the standard user roles that are typically assigned to Qualys user accounts. The least privileged roles are near the bottom of the diagram, and the roles with the greatest privileges are listed near the top. In typical hierarchical fashion, higher level roles automatically include the privileges of roles listed beneath them. For example, the default privileges for the scanner role automatically include the privileges for both the reader and remediation user roles. The remediation user role provides a convenient way to assign detected vulnerabilities to specific Qualys users. Users with this role can log into the vulnerability management application, but are limited to viewing their assigned vulnerabilities and accessing the Qualys knowledge base. Readers can run reports, and depending on their host access privileges, read reports created by other Qualys users. The scanner role performs scanning tasks, which also include mapping. The unit manager role has special extended privileges designed for the management of business units. The most privileged users are managers. They have full privileges and access to all the assets in your subscription. Managers and unit managers are responsible for managing assets and users. Managers have management authority for the entire subscription while unit managers only have authority over their assigned business units. To create a user account in the Vulnerability Management application, navigate to the Users tab here within the Users section. Notice that I've already created several accounts with different user roles. It's important to create at least one additional user account with manager privileges for backup purposes. To create an account, I'll click the New button and select User. You'll need to fill out the general information fields, those that are marked with an asterisk. The email address you specify will determine where the new login account credentials are sent. As mentioned earlier, the user role you select will determine the default privileges and permissions for this account. Notice that this list contains some user roles that I have not yet addressed. Let's take a quick look at the auditor, contact, and user administrator roles. The Auditor user role was created for the Qualys Policy Compliance application and does not have privileges in Qualys VM. A contact user can be configured to receive email notifications from the Qualys Cloud Platform. Contact users do not have login credentials. Similar to the Unit Manager, the User Administrator was designed to help manage other user accounts in your subscription while avoiding the risk of creating too many manager accounts. This role only has access to users, asset groups, business units, and distribution groups. The knowledge base only role is not enabled by default and is used primarily for accessing the Qualys knowledge base. Returning to my new user account, I'll keep the scanner user role and navigate to asset groups. Asset groups that you add here will determine the scope of this user's scanning and reporting privileges. To increase this user's access to host assets, simply add more asset groups. Or remove asset groups to reduce access. Extended permissions can be added to the default privileges of most user roles. Notification options can be configured to receive vulnerability update, scan completion, and other type of platform notifications. And two-factor authentication can be enabled for individual or selected user accounts. I'll save my new user account. The new account has been created and will remain in the pending activation status until its owner receives their credentials and logs in. Business units provide an effective way to divide and distribute the vulnerability management tasks and responsibilities within your Qualys subscription. The successful implementation of business units with unit managers provides an effective way to limit the total number of manager accounts 
in your Qualys subscription. I'll edit an existing business unit to view its components. Business units contain assets and users. Adding assets to a business unit is accomplished by adding asset groups. User accounts can be added in the same way. The unit manager is the primary contact for each business unit and will handle the administrative needs of the business unit members. The role of business unit manager comes with special extended privileges for managing assets and users within the scope of a business unit. And a business unit can have more than one unit manager. Only manager users can edit the default security options for your Qualys account. To adjust your account security settings, navigate to the Setup tab here under the User section and click Security. The security setup changes you make here will affect all user accounts in your subscription. You can restrict access to your account subscription by client IP address or IP address range. Be very careful with this option though, as a mistyped IP address could potentially lock out all user accounts including managers. The password security options will allow you to set password expiration intervals, account lockout thresholds, password strength requirements, and even an option to let users define their own passwords. If two-factor authentication is enabled here, it will affect all user accounts in your subscription. Your other option is to configure two-factor authentication individually for each user account. The new data security model should be enabled to leverage services and features such as scheduled reporting, asset tagging, cloud agent, and more. The session timeout threshold configured here will become the default session timeout threshold for all user accounts. Thank you for watching this Qualys training video.